Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dustin and this video is the short version on how to calibrate the steps per millimeter for a 3D printer. This is only for the X, Y, and Z calibration, not the extruder. Link will be in the description to another video, mine or someone else's, on how to do the extruder calibration. This is the short version. Long version will also have a link in the description. So let's begin. First thing you want to do is download a calibration cube off of Thingiverse. Um, this is gonna, the one I'm going to use is this one right here, 20 millimeters, but any size is going to work. Throw it into your uh, slicer of choice, your control software of choice, slice it up and print the cube. Once you have printed the cube, make sure it's cooled off, pull it off, make sure you know what sides are which and measure with a pair of calipers. You wanna measure all sides, as many sides as you can, uh, all three axes, make sure you get the X, Y, and Z sizes. Make sure you also keep track of which sides are which so you know you're not measuring the wrong side uh, in saying it's one versus the other. Then what you wanna do is go into the firmware and get the steps per millimeter, the current one that you're already using. So right here, if you can see this, it's X, Y, Z, and E for this firmware. Yours might be different, but you just need to get the current steps per millimeter firmware. Then what you wanna do is follow this equation. This assumes you have a 20 millimeter cube. Feel free to change it if you're using a different size cube. Current steps per millimeter value, that's what's right here already for each individual axis. And then the measured side is how long that axis actually was measured. Say for example, I measured 21 millimeters instead of 20 on the 20 millimeter calibration cube. I would put in 20 millimeters times my current steps per millimeter value, which is this right here. Put that in there, divided by 21. Make sure you follow PEMDAS. If you don't remember that, make sure you go back to grade school, go back to that early math, and you should get the new steps per millimeter for that specific axis. All you have to do now is take this, copy this into the firmware for that axis value, this right here. Repeat for the rest of the axes that are not in calibration. Hit upload, do another test print, repeat the process until you're close enough to where you wanna be, as close as accurate as physically possible. It's as simple as that. If you wanna watch the longer video, there's gonna be a link in the description to the video. It's like 10 minutes long. This is going to be obviously a bit shorter. So hopefully this helped. If it did, give it a like. If it didn't, put it in the comments why you didn't like it. It's gonna help someone, hopefully. This will work for any 3D printer that you have access to the firmware, mainly Marlin, mainly Folger Tech stuff, but it can be applied to many different cases. Otherwise, I got nothing else to say, so until the next video, I will see y'all later.